Hey guys, this is Amy from Jack and Amy Dev. And in this series, we have been learning all about Chrome extension host permissions and the active tab permission. In today's video, we will be looking at the tabs permission and what it allows us to do. Let's get started. Let's look at the official documentation. The tabs permission says that it gives your extension access to privileged fields of the tab objects used by several APIs, including the tabs and the Windows API. Now, what are these privileged fields? They are the title, the URL, and the Favi icon. Now, the warning that the users see when you request the tabs permission is read your browsing history. So why is that? Let's see how the tab permission works and understand why it says browsing history. For this example, in our manifest.json, the only permission that we are requesting is the tabs permission. Let's look at the background page. Over here, we're going to start by creating a page with the URL jackandamydev.com. Then we are going to try to execute script with chrome.tabs execute script and run an alert. Now, as you can see, this is part of the tabs API and we did ask for tabs permission. So let's see what happens. After that, after three seconds, we're going to use tabs.query to query via this match pattern, which is Jack and Amy Dev. And we're going to log the tabs information of this particular URL. After four seconds, we're going to use the on updated event listener and we are going to log what this listener returns and what specific tab information it gives us. Okay, let's go give it a test drive. So here we are, we have the tabs permission extension and we are going to run it. So first it creates this page and tries to execute the script. And as you can see, it told us no. Later, we used the query by URL and using this URL and it returned the information of the website, which has the title, the URL and the Favi icon. Now let's trigger the on updated listener. So we were going to open another page. It's going to browse for another page and it triggered it. And as you can see, it returns the title. Uh, a status, um, the Favi icon and the URL. Let's try another one. Now this one just says coffee and the Favi icon and see it logs all the information. So as you can see, I am browsing through the different pages and it's recording and saving all the browsing information. And so that's why it gives you the warning. It reads all your browsing history, meaning it logs it or we have access to it. Now, what kind of extensions can we make that only use the tabs permission? Let's look at some examples. Feel free to leave a comment in case you have figured out a clever way to use only the tabs permission without requesting host permissions. Okay, so let's say that you have scheduled to do research every day from three to four, and you want to make sure that none of the pages that you have visit get lost in history. Yes, it happens. I have lost many recipes this way. So in this extension, we would set up the options in the options page and the user can choose the times in between that it wants to track and also they would be able to uh, download a file with all this data and maybe even the option to clear it. So with this, we would only need the tabs permission and we would use the event listener that we just that we just talked about on updated and it would log and you would also need the storage permission to save all this information uh, locally. And then you can make sure that you don't lose any of your browsing history. Another example of an extension could be that the user wants to always open a set of pages in incognito. So let's say he's browsing and he's typing 
medium.com or he browses to medium.com article, but he always wants this page to open in incognito. So we would have an options page where he could enter, where there's a text area where he could enter all the different websites and URLs that he wants to always be open in incognito. And again, we would use our good old faithful unupdated listener to do this. So let's summarize the tabs permission. This permission gives us access to the title, the URL, and the Favi icon. But even though we have the tabs permission, we cannot use tabs or execute script to inject code. We need either the active tab or host permission. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you learned a lot more about tabs and was able to clear any doubts. If you really enjoyed our content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave any questions in the comments below. And good luck with your Chrome extension. Bye!